Hello, my name is Melissa Fondestock and I'm responding to subunit 2.1. And I was asked, the question was, what do you think of when you hear the word curriculum for early childhood? When I think of curriculum, I think of the as ideas and standards that are developmentally appropriate for that age. I also think of lesson plans that are the guide of what I plan on doing that day. Um, as I said, it is just a plan because sometimes when you're doing morning circle, you start talking about something else and you realize that the kids really aren't interested in what you had planned, but what they're interested in something else and you can change your lessons around that to encompass what they're interested in that day. I also believe in taking advantage of those teachable moments. Um, for example, one day when we were out in the playground, which is in the, was the beginning part of the day for us in a VPK class, um, we found a caterpillar. So we discussed, we had this discussion what we should do with the caterpillar and everybody wanted to keep it. And then we discussed how where we were going to keep it. And the answers were in the teapot in the kitchen to the pretzel container that they had seen me get the snack, snack out of that day. So we made the container for this caterpillar to live and then we discussed what food it needed to eat. Then we read a caterpillar book that the person, my aide went and got out of the library, the school library. Um, we read The Very Hungry Caterpillar and we discussed if they can really eat a chocolate cake and we had this whole discussion. I think they learned more that day than um, if I had stayed on schedule and we talked about the transportation that we had been talking about all week and the activities and that kind of stuff that I had had planned. Um, for art that day, instead of painting their favorite type of transportation or creating their own type of favorite type of transportation, they all created caterpillars or butterflies or what they thought the butterfly would look like when they, when it, after it came out of its cocoon. So I do think there's some wiggle room when it comes to curriculum. I think curriculum is a guide and ideas. However, I think sometimes the children should lead it and it should go from there for the teachable moments. I also think that curriculum should be built into the curriculum, should be built into open-ended questions that the teacher can ask. And this could be, the, you know, just post-it notes on the curriculum that the teacher decides that she wants to ask. Therefore, she's inviting the children to think of for themselves and to to voice their own opinions. I also think there should, in the curriculum, there should be social skills built in to the curriculum. Sometimes we forget to teach the social skills. And an example of this, if you're having problems with children sharing, you could automatically just in the art center put two glue sticks. Four children are allowed in there, but there's only two glue sticks. <gasps> what are you going to do? And the children would have to think of their own response and come up with it. And as easy as it says, oh, we will share, when I've done this in the past, it's not been so easy. So I think a curriculum should be teacher-based, child, teacher and child interactive together um, and come up with their what they're going to do that day. So I think I'm more of a high school um, person. I believe that, you know, the children should plan what they're going to do and then there should be a review. They should do it and then they should review it. Um, but I also think that even though it's a lesson plan that day and a curriculum that says this is how you should do it, if the children take it another way, I think that the children should be listened to. Thank you.